right, hey everybody, thanks for clicking on my YouTube channel. I am Marvelous Gap. I am playing Hogwarts Legacy, and I'm about to do the herbology class. So what I'm doing is I'm going to, I need to attend herbology class taught by Professor Garlic in the greenhouse. Hope you enjoy the video, and I'm just going to be right to it. Good morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora, dear. Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, A little treat for your auntie. Ah, oh, hello. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing bulb. Really nice how this Now looks. then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Accio. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. <laughs> hmm? Now, everyone, grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. They actually made it so it sounded like your ears are plugged. That was kind of neat. <laughs> the soil should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Who would want a warm, dirty blanket on them? Reparo. The dirty part is what I'm talking about. Who would want a... Wow. I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right then, off you go. Splendid work, everyone. <laughs> Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. Actually, I enjoyed it. I couldn't help but catch your enthusiasm. How kind of you. It seems you're already taking to herbology like a mandrake to fresh soil. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting Dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the Magic Neep. Wonderful. A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. Wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. 10 minutes to grow. Okay. Done. Once it can be harvested, your destiny will be ready to use in Wiganweld potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. A chomping cabbage. <laughs> Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there. But your lead. You scared? Nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Excuse me? Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. 
Yeah, I'm just trying to collect whatever I can because growing plants. It's it's gonna be fun. Here I'm we sure. are, home of the Chinese chomping cabbage. Go on, grab a few of those cabbages. Just mind your fingers. I almost lost a thumb once. Look at that. They'll chomp them anything they can get there. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but... Well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. I suppose they could prove useful outside of the greenhouse. Nothing wrong with a bit of backup, even if it is from a cabbage. It's chaos out there. Trolls and hogsmeade and such. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Greenhouse tree situated at the center of a Hogwarts greenhouse. This giant tree has a system of roots as deep reaching and convoluted as the school's dungeon. Oh, five hundred dollars. That was sweet. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. Well, that'll be it for this attend herbology class in Hogwarts Legacy. It was pretty. Like anything, grow. We must first understand it. It was pretty that cool. Goes for um, plants I like as well it. as friendships. The, um, Kindness yeah, the little screaming plant, the and then the the, uh, the cabbage, the cabbage, chomping cabbage. So that was pretty cool. But anyway, I am going to do the girl from Ugadu, a part of the live as a student until Professor Fig returns gameplay. I get to look at this. What are y'all doing? Flying kites. What's this? Leech. Juice. Hope you don't be leeching on me. Money. Let me open. Akio. What is that? Oh, I found something. I should investigate. Distinguished school robe. Well, there go a distinguished school robe. A hidden chest. All right, we are finally here. We finally <gasps> made it. It is good to see you, my friend. It is good to see you too, Naughty. Wrong button. Hello, Natty. How are you? I hope you've recovered from our rather eventful trip to Hogsmeade. I am well, but I have been worried about you, my friend. With Ranrock and Rookwood and Harlow after you? I'm all right at the moment. We did not speak about it at the time, but I am hoping now you might tell me why they were looking for you. They want something that Professor Fig and I found at Gringotts. When were you at Gringotts? Just before we came to Hogwarts. In fact, it's why I was late to the sorting ceremony. A port key brought us there after the dragon attacked our carriage. What on earth? There's one more thing. It's a bit odd, if I'm honest. Professor Fig says I have a rare connection to a powerful form of ancient magic. Is that the magic you used fighting the trolls in Hogsmeade? I think so. I'm still learning, but I can see traces of it, and I've cast magic I can't otherwise explain. I know that's a lot to absorb. It is. And I will have more questions. For now. It is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us, to all of us, which is why I wanted to speak to you. I realized something that day in Hogsmeade. 
You displayed such courage fighting that troll. And Serona wasn't intimidated one bit by Rookwood and Harlow. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. All right, Natty. Good. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair. And the fact that they're working with Ranrock, well... All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations, taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow is planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen and find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Be on your guard. What am I doing? I beg your pardon. How dare you threaten me? What's going on here? Yeah. Quest complete the girl from Oogadoo. Where'd she just go? What? Okay, well. I'm naughty. You so rude. They must have come this way. Think! I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to... Victor Rookwood don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi! Speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student! You can't be sick. <laughs> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Stupid man. What? I'll watch the light go out of your eyes. Nice outfit. Completed in 30 seconds. A collection section of your field guide has been updated with a new enemy type. You may learn valuable insights on enemies such as their weaknesses to, to certain spells. Get over here, you incendiary! I'm not going anywhere with you. You'll take this to the dog of my dead body! <laughs> How embarrassing! Yeah, he just blew him up. Still no match for me. I was trying to do the uh the dodge thing. What on earth just happened? I've never been accosted in such a manner. Then so close to Hogwarts. Are you all right? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story. Thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. You mentioned someone named Priya? Yes, my wife. She's the one who piqued my interest in Merlin. Gave me a book when we were students at Hogwarts. Typical hard-working Hufflepuff. Brilliant potioner. Has her own shop in Nocturne Alley. She's a traveling vendor. Here's what's going on in the Highlands before I do. You're a researcher? Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist specializing in Merlin's work and life. I thought that Merlin and the tales about King Arthur's court were a myth. Mere myth? <laughs> You're lucky Sir Cadogan didn't hear you. Chatters on endlessly about his connection to Merlin from his portrait at Hogwarts. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. 
Fixtures. These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. Trials of Merlin. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has a symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if... The Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols. Precisely. Would you care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. Mm -hmm. Did you see that? The vines disappeared. What should I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted territory. Incendio. I'm curious about these pyres. Merlin's beard! The flames make the pyre sink. Ooh! What a day! I can hardly believe it. Hey, Merlin, where'd you go and where are your cloak now? I take it we can call that a success? We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swirl on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require Mallow Suite, which you can find in Hogsmeade should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. And do be careful out here. Now, I've got what I needed. I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. Best complete, trials of Merlin. Merlin. Complete to increase your gear capacity? Absolutely, because, whoa. Um, Professor Hakat's assignment two, attend defense against a dark arts class during the day. Was she right? Return to Professor Hakat. I hope you were able to take care of everything I had asked you to do. I hope I did too. Professor, I completed all of your most recent assignments. Well done. Then you're ready to learn Expelliarmus. Yes, Pay Expelliarmus. Close attention. The disarming charm may often be all you need to defeat the most powerful dark witches and wizards you might encounter. Spellcasting requires a focused mind and a steady wand. He'll beat you. <laughs> Expelliarmus! Good work. The dummy is here if you wish to stay in practice. I wondered, did you attend Hogwarts? I did. I am a proud member of Ravenclaw House, like you. Why do you ask? I was curious as to how Hogwarts has changed over the years. I see. Well, the castle itself, as I'm sure you have surmised, is full of surprises. 
I dare say more than the staircases change around here. As for the students, well, they seem to get more capable every year. Although, we got up to just as much mischief in my day as you seem to now. I used to look the other way at all sorts of roguery when I was head girl. I can tell you, however, that I did once admonish a certain Phineas Nigellus Black for enjoying a sugar quill during a lecture. Uh, I, I hadn't realized that you and Professor Black were, uh, students here together. <laughs> Appearances can be deceiving. You see, I was once wounded by time itself. I'm not sure what that means, but it sounds horrible. Ah, well, it was the risk I took with my prior position. You may or may not have heard that I was an unspeakable at the Ministry for years. An unspeakable? What does... Ah, as you might suspect, I cannot speak about what we did. <laughs> Suffice it to say, the job was not without its hazards. Now, I hope I've satisfied your curiosity for the moment. You have. Thank you for speaking with me, Professor. Keep up with your wand work. One must always be prepared for mischief, both inside and outside of the castle. You ain't helped me at all. Like, not at all. Expelliarmus! You seem to have the right end of the stick, but keep practicing. Expelliarmus may save your life one day. All right, that will be it. We have done all of her side quests. Thank you for <laughs> thank you for watching the video. It was pretty short, I see. I'll see you in the next Hogwarts Legacy YouTube video.